And I'm not going to dig that. Now I can turn up my discriminator towards the factory preset, but then I'm going to lose a little bit of signal on my deeper targets. I want, I want that maximum signal volume. Okay, now this is, um, this is a nice lock on, 84. Must be quarter day today at the beach. And then, now I can, I can go in the center, or I can pinpoint right off the tip. And which I'll do, since it's a double D, you can pinpoint off the tip, especially in the sand. Check the hole, nothing's in it, so I've got it. A couple of shakes, and ooh, I bounced it right out of the scoop. Nice quarters, been recently dropped. Hear the double beep? If that's a nail. And then this way, it's only one beep, but usually the void is where you want to go for with a piece of nail. Let's see if we can get it here. I got it. Now I have a magnet in my scoop. This is a stainless scoop, so I had to tie the magnet down. And uh, let's see, let's see if it. I'm going to go down and see if I can't. There it is. It fell right back. The magnet missed it. But uh, we want to pick these things up because they could hurt the kids. They like to play in the sand. So I don't mind doing that at the beach because removal of the targets is so easy. There's another piece of iron. Notice how smooth, not even, a, not even a peep, not even a false. The gr ground tracking system is, is really knocking out that ground reactivity, that noise. As we get closer to the water's edge, I'm going to be careful because some of these waves can uh, really knock you off balance and the M6 is not a waterproof detector. It's uh, resistant to rain and, and a lot of the uh, dust in the environment, but it's not a submergible unit. Okay, there, there's a very weak signal here. Hold on. Might have been a little bit of uh, mineralization. Holy smokes. Okay, we're submerging the loop just into the water. Usually I hunt above the, uh, the water's edge. And this double D loop is keeping it very quiet. So if there was a target signal down, I'd be able to hear it. See, it's all about hearing the signal and keeping the noise in check. So this, this Eclipse double D is very, very smooth over that wet salt environment. Sometimes you have to reduce the gain, especially if you're at uh, more of a highly concentrated black sand beach. Okay, one of the things I do with a long handle basket, and again this is a 48 inch handle one, is I drag it along my left side. And that way I've marked where I've been. And for instance if I get up, let's say I want to go up as far as this, I'll turn and I'll pivot around and now I'll come back and I'm covering area that I haven't been, see? So that way I know where I've been. Oh, okay. Now this is, uh, this could be a piece of a jewelry. It's giving me some high numbers, some low numbers. So I'll just see what this is here. I got it. Now you can also dump and spread the sand out. Might be small. Might be a piece of iron. It was a little tiny piece of iron. So I'll dispose of that. Cover the holes. And keep hunting. Okay. I'm, my mom always said to share. And 
I've only had just a couple of coins. Look, so I'm going to turn this over to Jimmy Sierra and see if he can uh, find anything that uh, I've missed. It's, it's a large enough beach. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good exercise, too. So I'm going to go take a break and I'm going to hand the M6 over to Jimmy Sierra. Jimmy? Be patient at the beach. Uh, it, the targets are very often very far apart. Cover all the ground, overlap your search. With an MXT or a D M6, there is no problem with how fast you sweep. Uh, some detectors require slow sweep, some are work better in fast sweep. Uh, this is all foil, I can see it right on the surface. Uh, but one thing about the M6, it's not speed sensitive. Now here's another signal. Again, in the foil range, I'll pinpoint it. It's right there, and I'm sure it's probably foil. You never know when it's going to be a small ring, you see. There's the, uh, yeah, that's the uh, little piece of a pull tab again, and a piece of foil. Let's see, uh, up here would be a good area. Now, there we go, this is a coin. Probably a penny, could be a dime. Or it could be a wrapper of a who knows what. There we go, the bottle cap. Again, that little piece of foil, I should have had a basket with me. There we go. No, yeah, that's that. This is a bottle cap, it's aluminum bottle cap. Look at the trash in here. Now, here's a 50, oh, here's a bigger target. 25 cents it says, but then with all this foil, any piece of foil could, uh, I mean, no, it is 25 cents. So that's a quarter. Yep, detector's almost paid for. This is, there we go, another quarter. That was what we kicked around. There's another quarter. That's 50 cents. Boy, we're on our way. Don't tell Greg about this. We got a hot spot. Here we go. Another quarter. Another quarter, probably. There we go. Three quarters. We're on a roll. <laughs> there we go. That's, uh, uh oh. No, this was foil, it says. See, it's hard to pinpoint. Very small target. Up here, it sounds pretty good. Well, there's a piece of foil. Let's see. This would be here's a boogie board broken in half. See if they left any money behind here. They, they play. Penny dime. Penny dime, what's that going to be? A dime. We're just uh, hitting the surface. Now, if we want to go deep, we'd put it in all metal, uh, start working very carefully when you get a whisper of a sound, kick away a bunch of sand. But without headphones on, pretty hard to hear over the roar of the surf. So, problem is, I'm not hearing the faint signals. I'm hearing the big ones, but the faint ones, you're going to hear with headphones. Always recommend headphones, particularly at the beach. And then you can kick sand away. So when you hear a little tiny whisper, you can kick a bunch of sand away and it strengthens up. Then you go after it. This is gangbusters at the beach. What you want is a nice diamond ring because that's why uh, we all go to the beach and, and we don't eliminate pull tabs and we don't eliminate nickels because that's where the diamond rings are. Fellow was working on a beach just north of here, uh, oh, about 10 years ago. And it was after a big storm. That's iron. It's overloading a big piece of iron. 